Hello everyone, we know that the latest Windows 11 system already supports the direct installation and running of Android mobile applications. I think this is the biggest selling point of Windows 11, and it is also the biggest attraction for users to upgrade Windows 11 to experience this new feature. This is because there are thousands of Android apps for watching videos such as uh, TikTok, various apps for reading news, and many social apps. The user experience is very good. Well, today I will share with you how to use Windows 11 to run Android apps in the easiest way. It's really a piece of cake. You can install and use Android apps on Windows 11 quickly. Okay, let's move to my PC to have a look. Let's go. Okay, welcome to my Windows 11 PC. So can you can see I have already installed the Windows 11 and uh, I already installed some uh, Android apps like uh, TikTok, Twit TikTok and uh, Instagram, Facebook and the App Store, APK Pure. This is a third party App Store. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at TikTok. Yeah, we can run the TikTok on the uh, Windows 11 here. It's very cool, right? So, uh, you can run the Windows 11 with the TikTok and uh, the Instagram here. So you can use, uh, this is also Android app. You can log in with the Facebook or log in, sign up with your email. So also you can use the Andro Android app and the Facebook here. You can log in your Facebook account with the email and the password. So it can be run the Android app natively on your Windows 11. It's very cool, right? So and uh, here, this one. So I install the APK Pure. This APK Pure is a third-party Android app market, uh, app store. So you can download and install those uh, apps from the uh, APK Pure. For example, let's check from the category and uh, choose some games or some uh, other apps if you like, like uh, the lifestyle of photographer, video player, it editors, something like that. Let's have a look. Lifestyles. Then if we uh, install like uh, Amazon, Alexa, just click install. So it will download the uh, app and uh, it can uh, automatically install this app onto your Windows 11. It's really an uh, easy way to do that. Okay, you can see that uh, the installation uh, pro process has pop up and you can click install to install the Amazon Alexa something like that the the process is very easy and you click open then you can open the uh, android app very easily okay you can see the app can be opened successfully okay so next step i will show you how to uh, install this uh, um, subsystem of the windows 11 to support the android app so next step i will reset my a PC and show you step by step how to uh, use this uh, Android system. I mean, in the, which is uh, uh, which in the Windows 11 to use this Windows 11 system to run the Android app step by step. Okay. Okay. I finished reset my computer. Now the system is a fresh new system. So I will click the start button and go to the settings and go to about to check your system version. So I'm using the uh, Windows 11 Pro 21 H2, so latest version. If you are not using this latest version, I recommend that uh, you update your uh, Windows 11 versions to see uh, it is the uh, latest version. Okay, and uh, go to the system and here click the Windows update. So if you have not yet updated to the latest version or have not yet installed some patches, I recommend you just uh, update those uh, patches and uh, update. So you can click download and uh, update. But for me, uh, I mean, the, this version, it works perfect with the Android, I mean, with the Android applications. So this version is perfect 21H2 if, if you want to use the Android app. Okay, this is the Windows version. Okay, then let's go to the system and uh, let's have a look of this uh, time and the language. Time and click the time and language. Let's click language and region. Click language and region. And we need to change the country of region to, I mean, to the America, so USA, because currently only the USA has the function of uh, the Android 
uh, application to run the Android application. Okay. Okay. Now we find the United States. We click the United States, change the country and the region to the United States. Okay. This is the uh, second step. And the next step is we need to uh, use these uh, apps here, the apps, and change this. Uh, some other apps the, because now for my system it's in, Chi in Chinese but no problem it is be be between the offline map and apps for website so this this button so you click this button to um, add the virtual machine okay let's just click this button between the apps for website offline maps click this button and scroll down scroll down here more windows feature to add more windows feature and here scroll down to the down bottom of the scroll down you will see this uh, virtual machine platform we needed to take in this virtual machine platform click it to install these uh, other features okay click it and click ok so now it was searching for the required files to install this uh, virtual machine platform after that uh, the system will be rebooted here restart your Windows PC. Let's click the restart my PC. Click restart my PC. Okay, now my PC was restarted. Then next step, we needed to click this uh, Windows App Store to download the Amazon App Store. Okay, okay, we will use the Amazon App Store to activate the Android subsystem. Let's search the Amazon App Store here. The Amazon App Store. This one, let's click this one to download this, uh, install this Amazon App Store. So there's uh, not uh, many, I mean, Android apps in the Amazon App Store because uh, we only want to use this Amazon App Store to activate the uh, Windows 11 Android subsystem we use for that purpose. Okay, we click, click install, and uh, it will require you to log on to your Windows ag account. Okay, we just uh, key in your Windows account and uh, click next. And uh, key in your password and uh, click sign in. Okay, we just uh, log into the uh, Windows App Store. Then we click the install the Amazon App Store. Okay, then we just uh, click the install to install the Amazon App Store. Okay, then we click download to get your PC ready for the Amazon App Store click download and click yes so just uh, be patient wait for several minutes to download the Amazon App Store and it will also activate your subsystem of the Android subsystem then you can run your Android app on your Windows 11 PC okay you can see it already says it's done then let's open Amazon App Store App Store so you can see the subsystem for the Android Windows subsystem for the Android will be activated. So, so we don't need to need to use the Amazon App Store. We just want to using the Amazon App Store to activate the Windows subsystem for Android. Just wait for several minutes to activate. Okay, so perfect. Then we minimize the Amazon App Store. That's it. it this Amazon App Store finished its job. So nothing is need the Amazon App Store. Let's go to the Start menu. And we let's let's search for the sub system. Can you can see Windows subsystem for Android? We click that, and we do some initial settings. We go to the developer, and uh, go to tick on this uh, developer mode, and allow here allow the developer mode, and go to manage developer settings here, and we need to go to. I mean, we needed to go to uh, go to the developer mode, USB debugging here. You need to switch on the USB debugging here. Okay, perfect. USB debugging here and go back and then we go to double check USB debugging mode. Yeah, perfect. Okay, now next step, we needed to go to the GitHub to download the Pac-Man. Yeah, the Pac-Man, which you use to manage your uh, Android apps. Let's go to the Git, GitHub, WSA, WSA Pac-Man. Yeah, we need to do open source here, the, this one, WSA Pac-Man. 
which you use to manage your Android apps, to use it to install the Android apps. Okay, let's go to here, release 33 release, click this button, 33 release, and uh, download the latest version of the Pac-Man, WSA Pac-Man installer. We need to this installer. Yes, click this installer to download this uh, Pac-Man. It's not very big, I think, show all and it's around uh, 34 gig 34 megabytes okay okay we already downloaded the pac-man we go to sh show in the folder and double click the wsa pac-man to install this application okay click yes then click next 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 yeah associate with uh, APK file and APK X APK file to associate this uh, Android apps. Click next. Click install to install the WSA Pac-Man to manage your Android apps. Okay, it requires you need to restart your computer now. Let's okay. Let's click finish. Okay, the computer will be restarted. Okay, so my PC was restarted again. Then let's go to the APK Pure third party, I mean third party app store, APKPUREPure.com. Okay, you can see this is a third party app store, APK Pure. We just download this one, use APK Pure app store, click download, just download the app store. Click close and it will be downloaded. APK Pure, click the download button. Okay, you can see the APK Pure store, uh, APK Pure, the third party store is downloading. Okay, let's go to show in the folder, click show in folder, and then you can see the APK Pure. This is all just downloaded, and you will see this uh, blue icon, which means you can install this uh, Android app. I double click it to install the APK Pure. Okay, so you now see it's gray, the color is gray, the install cannot be uh, opened, but no problem. You can uh, click cancel and try again. Click cancel and let's go to the WSA Pac-Man, click that one. And we will need to turn on, this uh, WSA is turned off, so we need to turn on this uh, WSA. Okay, so perfect. Now the WSA is starting, please stand by. After it is started, then we can go back and to install that uh, Android okay, again. You can see it's connected, so it's perfect, connected. So we need to go back, go to your task manager to kill that, uh, to kill this subsystem and reload it again. Click this one and end the task. Okay, then we go to start menu again and the Windows subsystem for Android, we'll click that again to start that uh, develop mode again and click manage develop settings to restart the Windows subsystem for Android. Okay, so let's move to the debugging. Yeah, use the USB debugging. We switch off and switch on again. Click OK. OK, finish it. Go back. OK, so here you will see allow ADB debugging. You can see, so let's click always allow for this computer and click allow okay so let's minimize and minimize let's try again to find out double click yeah you can see now the button is in blue color so now you can install this apk pure yeah install this one install okay so you can now can click this one create desktop shortcut and click open the APK Pure App Store. Yeah, it's pure perfect. Okay, it's uh, allow or don't allow. I, for me, I just allow, allow. So you can install the apps if you like. For example, if you want to install like the WhatsApp, let's go to WhatsApp or Messenger or something like that. Okay, so let's go to this WhatsApp install. So it will download and install the WhatsApp. Here, you can see, it will download the app and install onto your Windows system. Yeah, it's a very easy and a simple method for you just to run the Android apps natively. Okay, this here we will allow from this source. Switch on 
allowed from this source and go back so now it can be installed do you want to install this app click install so the app will be installed and click open so now you can open the whatsapp yeah agree and continue and here you can key in your phone number and this is newly installed the app is here in the recomm recommended here yeah this uh, is newly added applications for you you will find the android app here it's very easy and straightforward okay so if you like my sharing don't forget to thumb up and subscribe to the channel see you next time bye bye